Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're still, well, in not the most shiny of places. We're still in the sewers and we're seemingly surrounded by basilisks. We can hear them, but I can't see them yet. Uh, although it sounds like they're above us. There's two chests here. So this one isn't... Oh, yeah, this one is. Okay, didn't... Totally didn't expect that. What the hell is he doing? Why is he on all fours? Not particularly fast. Oh yeah, he turns around. That was... Incredibly creepy. But he's dead. Well, that's a way to start an episode. Dark Clutch Ring. Well, we kind of know what that will do. But they'll read it nonetheless. Ring depicting a hand grasping a purple stone. Increases dark attack, but compromises damage absorption. An old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the crestfallen who might otherwise be overcome by despair. So that's the same uh, description that we've seen a few times now. So let's open this. Wow, that's a, a big orb. Old cell key. Now what can that tell us? Was that it? No. Jailbreaker's key? Where the hell did we get that? Oh, that was probably the item from the giant, I forgot to uh, read it. Key to the barred window in the Irritil dungeon. But the window... Holy shit! Um... Holy shit, where the hell did these guys come from? Okay, this is uh, more than a bit scary. Should get out of the way. Oh, I really need to take... Keep an eye out on my curse meter, because... Uh, Where the fuck did these guys come from? So did they just waited on cue? They probably came through that hole over there, but there's another one. Wait a second, no, they were running around in here, but... So that spreads pretty far, actually. There we go. Okay, so what I was reading those keys. The description on those keys. So Jailbreaker's key. Key to the barred window in the Irritil dungeon, but the window only leads to a bottomless black pit below. And above, a paltry view of the ruined, profaned capital. The very architecture appears to be a cruel joke the jailers played on would-be escapees. Interesting. And then we have the old cell keys, key to this oldest cell in the Irritil dungeon. The first prisoner of the dungeon was a lone giant. Cells for men were built at his feet. So that's probably the giant that we killed. So we kind of helped him get out of his cell, but uh, it didn't end well for him. So there doesn't seem to be another way than uh, either... I could probably drop down here as well. Although... Doesn't look extremely safe. Seems to be a way over here as well, but... 
from the no. I'm not gonna try that. I'm gonna drop down. I mean, I would fall down if I would try that, and it's probably way too far down. So let's try the rat hole. We know from our view up above that there are at least two jailers down here. There seems to be a lot on the other side as well. Ooh, there's three. So this one is interested. There goes one. So that's why I didn't heal. I know I would have to fight these guys. And I uh, could handle a bit of uh, HP loss. So is this guy as interested as his pal was? Yes, he is. I don't know what happened there, but I think I got branded, yes. Uh, I don't know what that does, actually. Probably speeds up its uh, HP draining effect, but uh, I'm gonna wait till it comes back, because... I don't want to fight him like this. So, I think that's pretty much it. I think. Let's drink. Bottoms up! So that guy saw me. So the brand kind of stunned me for a second. Holy shit balls. Hello. Oh shit. Okay, this is not going to be easy. So large titanite shard. I think I can lure the first one over here. Yeah. So I think that's enough for him to come and chase me. Hello. Yeah, okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh god, what am I doing? Get over here. But if he turns around, I can just bum rush him. Okay. Okay, he seems interested. I'm gonna have to run from the other one. But he's interested. Oh, fuck off. So that's what they do. They just pound you to the ground until you're dead. Um, god damn it. That's a far ways off. Is there no bonfire in between? I really don't care. I, I really, I really don't care anymore. Come. Over the edge.
Oh god. Oh, an ember! Now, where's the last one? Finally, and I got the soldering iron. Hopefully I don't get jumped right now, but where's this soldering iron? And there it is. Branding iron used by the Jailer's Prowling Irritilt Dungeon. Press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Aster Sealing, so that's what that does. Charge, hold iron at waist and charge probably. I don't want to get jumped right now. Okay, so we cleared out the jailers. There's a lot of screaming monstrosities in the jail cells around here. Uh, and I do want my souls back. So, uh, thank you. So we're at 47,000 right now. Amber. I, um, uh, oh god, there's another one right here. Do I look like I care anymore? I don't think I look like I care anymore. Sorcerer ahead. Okay, let's open this. It's locked. I have two keys. Oh god. I broke something. Okay then, two keys is apparently not enough. That looks like a giant gate. Okay. Bonfire ahead. Well, that's good. That's really, really good. That's really, really, really good. But at what cost? Oh god, this doesn't look good. Large open area, item at the end. Screaming? No screaming. Just a simple soul. So, the bonfire. Be wary of critical foe and then do it. Well, I'm not, am I? First, want to see what all those cells are about. Do they mean literally down? No, no. I'm not gonna risk my life doing that. So we have another cell around here as well. Oh god. And I probably can open that. So that's one of those guys that killed me a lot in the beginning of the game. So another cell. Doesn't sound like there's anything here. Xanthus ashes. And this one will scream. Ow, my eardrums. Thank you. That was a bit too obvious. So we found ashes and a ring. So let's start with the ashes. Xanthus ashes. Umbral ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long lost land. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. They were called Xanthus Scholars, but some foolishly imitate some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. And the ring... Dusk Crown Ring. Leaf-colored crown ring bestowed upon the Princess of Ulysil. Uh, another character from uh, Dark Souls 1. Ancient land of golden sorceries. Reduces spell FP consumption, but also lowers HP. Hmm, interesting. 
Ulusil is synonymous for its lost sorceries, of which the Xanthus sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact of great magic heritage. So a lot of nice items. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna lure it over here. Is it one on force? Yeah, no. He's standing upright. Oh god. This guy packs a punch as usual, but... And down he goes, okay. Two Titanite scales, well that's... Great as well. That second one sounded really close. Can I? No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm technically... Oh, I'm technically cheating. But he is as well, so I... Th that, that's a sight. So that's one down, and now I can clearly open the gates. There's at least two more. What the hell was that? Wait a second, are these guys supposed to be Ulusil warriors then? Well, sorcerers. So then this one. And then the last one. I kind of feel bad for these guys, I really do. Profaned coal. Pale pine resin, so we're really close to the profane capital where uh, Yorm the Giant resides. So let's check out that coal. Coal used for weapon infusion, remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital. That burned down the profane capital, okay, so it was destroyed by a fire. Preserved in an icy skull. Gifted to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for dark blood and hollow infusion. Interesting. So, since I don't have the key for that cell, the only place I haven't really been yet is over here. And now this looks like it might end up... Praise the shortcut, yes indeed. It might end up on the... Okay. I hear breeding. Wait a second. I had blood with these guys. What the hell is that thing? Dragon torso stone, seriously? They brought even that back. Uh, I think it should be around used items, no? Yeah. Stone imbued to the power of the everlasting dragons used in a secret rite by dragon worshippers. Gain the torso of a dragon and a dragon's roar, a transformation that is irreversible until death. From ancient times, the path of the dragon worship was walked by warriors. It is said they envision Arch Dragon Peak in the depths of their meditation, and at times they even hear the distant sound of the great bell at the peak. Oh. I'm gonna suppose that that is Arch Dragon Keep, uh, Peak then. So that's where the everlasting no. Wait a second. The everlasting dragons was a uh, an NPC slash boss boss you can fight in uh, Dark Souls two. And he resided in the dragon eerie, which was pretty high up. 
So did they just copy that area as well and just put it up there in the mountains? That is a uh, pretty annoying. Can't really destroy this thing. Must have been a dragon worshipper going too far. Looking away ahead. So this is probably a shortcut back. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. So now we're probably behind that door. Yeah, okay. So that's this door. Uh, I'm gonna drop off the elevator right now, because I've seen an item over here. Lightning blade. Now, I do hope this isn't too high. No, okay. So let's check that out as well. Miracle allegedly wielded by a certain Dragon Slayer Knight in the Age of Gods reinforces right weapon with lightning. Tales of Dragon Slayers are now a rare thing, told only in fragments and whispers in remote regions. So, I think that's the last one of the enhancement spells. Um, I do wonder what good that does, that shortcut, because you just end up in a room with six or seven of those jailers but hey um, one message here said bonfire ahead the other one said critical foe ahead so I don't really know which one to believe but I would of course prefer the bonfire pretty please pretty pretty please I just don't want to die. Ooh, that's... Oh! Now I see where we are. That's the Lord Vessel, isn't it? From Dark Souls 1, where you put the, the Lord Souls in. Because it kind of looks... It looks a lot like that. Profaned Capital. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So that's a shield. There we go. So that's one of the gargoyles, isn't it? But uh, completely turned to stone. Holy shit balls! Um, and now I really want a bonfire. I don't want to fight another one of those. Oh god, this doesn't look good. This does not look good. There's a ladder here, so I'm gonna take the ladder because ladders are safe. Ladders are really safe. We can hold on, we can drop off, oh please give me a bonfire, this doesn't look like a bonfire, there's not a ladder over here, ladder, I can see that, but does it lead to a happy fun place, oh yes, oh god, thank you god. What's this? Stretch out undead bone shard. Wait a second. This guy looks familiar. And this... 
there's a lot of gold, gold around here as well. Huh. If only I had an ally. Oh! Okay, thank you, gold. I returned here. Um, my network just dropped out a bit and they kick you out of the game if that happens, so... Uh, let's light this bonfire so I can spend those 53,000 souls. So see you guys at Filing Shrine. So yeah, Profane Capital and Irritil Dungeon. Okay, so 53,000 souls. That should give us two levels, I think. Yeah, okay, two levels. Uh, let's put Endurance up one. And Dexterity up one. There we go, 45,000 souls spent. And now we have to give Andre two coals. Ah, so I got to, to give him the other one as well. Ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger, I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> So you might be wondering, Andre is also a blacksmith from uh, Dark Souls 1. So why is he alive while everybody else seems to have died? Well, the uh, his likeness already gives it away. He looks a lot like Gwyn, and it's presumed that he's his uh, twin brother, which makes him kind of a god. And thus capable of living a long time. So that's probably the most ideal explanation. No words. Where did you happen? On this coal. This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be. But hope remains, does it not? It does, Andre. It does. Uh, I don't think I found the Esther shards. No. Um, I found a Titanite chunk. Uh, so I might actually be able. Yes, I'm able to upgrade the sharp katana. So I'm gonna do that immediately. That gives us another uh, 18 damage extra. So let's boost it up. Great, great, great. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Ah, maybe the bow. Because I have quite a few Titanite scales. So I miss one to get it to plus three. And then the staff, I need Twinkling Titanite for, so... Pretty be careful, I go. <laughs> and then, of course, we just found the Undead Bone Shard. Oh, no, we also found ashes. So give the umbral ash. No, that's the same as always, so let's check it out. Maybe she sells the key. Uh, doesn't look like it. Grave key and tower key, so nothing changed on that account. The washing pole. So that's a... Uh, a better katana, I think. 121. I think it is better. Interesting. I might eventually upgrade this thing. And I've spent a lot of souls uh, and uh, night night stuff preparing those. Smouse armor. Okay then. So let's check the uh, info. Grotesque armor associated with Smaug the Lost Knight to stand in defense of the ruined cathedral. Boasts extremely high defense and can be done by humans, but not without great difficulty. I wonder... Oh no, she doesn't sell uh, the other guy's armor as well, Ornstein's. Uh, anything else here? No, that's, that seems to be the same. Yeah, that's the same. I do want to buy that uh, 
hat. I've been putting it off, but I, I want to buy the hat. So let's spend the soul. I think these are 5,000. Yeah, perfect. So let's uh, purchase the Sage's big hat. Thank you very much. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna talk to her. One. If my bring me with, is it not? <laughs> okay, never mind. Ashen Sometimes characters one. change their uh, conversation with you if you spend a lot of souls with them. And since there was uh, ten thousand souls, it was pretty nice. So I'm gonna don that hat. I am over 70 now, I realize that, but I might be able to, oh look at that, oh it even has a plague mask on top of it, well that just finishes it off, look at that, I did expect it to be a bit bigger, but uh, so now there's two things we can do to offset the fact that we, uh, well, Kind of lost equipment load there, so that's a way we can do it. We can equip the Ring of Favor and then we can just roll around like the happy few we are. Or I could spend a buttload of my souls to put in another level. So I'm gonna first use these. So that's 16,000. I'm gonna quickly check how much I need. Uh, 23,000, so I need 7,000 extra. Uh, so if I use one of these, it's 3,000. And then one of the other ones, one of the 5,000 ones. Yeah, perfect. And then I'm gonna boost my vitality up to with one, and that gives me another point of equipment load. Let's so put that in. Farewell, Ash made a and now, yeah, we're at 67 and I think, yeah, we stay below 70 even without the ring of favor. Um, but the increased HP and stamina is actually rather nice. So I might actually try the ring of favor. So I'm going to take a little break. Look at that. And the, the sword is looking very glowy in the the ba in the basking basking in the light of the bonfire. But I'm gonna take a little break. So if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I'll see you next time when we continue on in the profaned capital. So thank you guys enormously for, enormously for watching. Goodbye!